Hello again, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Welcome, so great to see all of you again. Well, I usually do videos uh, about, you know, what we should be doing and how to live your life. But today, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to talk about things that in my life and maybe in your life really are not important at all. So you have to let them go and don't do them. Great poems about life not only give us a window into the heart of the poet, but they also compel us to explore our own inner worlds and longings. And then the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Risk by Anise Nunn. The first one, and we've talked about this before, is trying to make everybody happy. Oh my gosh, I used to try to make everybody in my life happy, and I wound up making nobody happy. I wasn't happy, they weren't happy because I couldn't do enough for them. So I decided a while back, hey, do you know what? I'm not gonna be a people pleaser. I'm not gonna spend my life trying to make everybody happy because do you know what? It's absolutely impossible. It's impossible to make everyone happy. Think about it. I want you to think about your life. When you try to make somebody happy, you bend over backwards, do the right thing, then make them happy. What happens? They're never happy. They're never happy. So you do what you want to do with your life and you don't have to bend over backwards to make other people happy or or to make anyone else happy. It's good to be kind and it's good to help people out. But once you start trying to make everybody happy in your life, you're in a no-win situation. And that is the first thing that I will have to say to you. Another thing, and I think this especially if you are younger, and maybe if you're older and you have older children telling you what, listening to what other people say that you should do with your life. Listening to what other people say that you should do with your life. Who is your best friend? You are. Who knows you better than anybody else in the whole wide world? You know yourself. Don't be swayed by people who are always telling you what to do with your life, how to lead your life. We are all born with this great gut instinct, aren't we? And if we listen to this instinct, 99.9% .9 of the time, what our instinct tells us to do with our lives is right. People have all kinds of opinions. Oh, there is no, absolutely no, no uh, end or the pile is big of people who are willing to tell you what to do with your life. Now, it's different. If you ask someone's advice on what to do, you take the advice in, you roll it around, but eventually it's you who makes that decision. So listening to other people tell you constantly what you should be doing with your life is not important at all. Living in the past or the future living for yesterday and woe is me or while well, I used to be living in the future. Oh, I wonder if, oh, if I could only do this, if I could only, you know, be rich or if I could only be a, whatever, whatever. The most important thing, and we've talked about this a lot, if you follow me, living in the now is so important. Don't live in the past. Don't live in the future. Live in today because today is what really matters. The past is gone. The future is unknown. 
But you know right today where you are and what is happening in your life. It's really important to live in the moment today. Refusing to learn from mistakes. That is something that is you really shouldn't do. Learning from your mistakes helps us to grow, helps us to forgive ourselves, helps us to move forward in life. Sure, none of us is perfect. I have made so many mistakes in my life. And if I was a what-if kind of a person, I'd say, oh, well, what if I did this? But I can't change it. Cannot change it. But the only thing that I have been able to do with my life, and you can too, is learn from your mistakes and don't repeat them. You know, so you, you've had a bad marriage and you, you, you fell in love with, with someone that was not good for you. The next time you're dating or you choose a partner, be sure that you don't make the same mistakes by choosing that same type of person again. I had someone ask me that they uh, were in a relationship and it didn't seem to work out and what's the problem. The problem is be sure that you have learned from your past relationships and the mistakes that happened and that you go forward by learning. So do not, do not refuse to learn from your past mistakes. Holding on. Holding on to grudges, holding on to anger, holding on to resentment, all of those things will just eat you alive. Let go. Learning to let go of things that are negative for your health is one of the best things that you can ever do. And it's probably one of the hardest things to do. If you're angry with someone, if you are resentful of someone, if, if you um, are sorry about something and you just keep saying, oh, why did I, why did I, why did I? Learn to let go, quit holding on to anything except what is now in your life. Just try to let it go because if you don't let it go, it will be, eat you alive. It really will. And it will destroy your future and any happiness that you want to attain in the future. This is my nemesis. The next one, worrying. My mother was a worrier. Oh, she was so worried about everything if I didn't get home in time or if I, as an adult, you know, as an adult, if I, you know, she saw me on television and she would call and if I wasn't home yet, she would worry that I'd been in an accident or worried that something happened to me. My mother, her whole life was a worrier, worrier, and that behavior kind of rubbed off on me because I saw what she did and it was something that it was a learned process. So early on in my life, I was a worrier, but I learned through life experience not to worry about things. I learned to let go. Things that I have no control over, I had to let go and I had to have faith that everything was going to work out. So worrying is such a useless uh, a useless uh, part of your energy, a useless part of your life, or a re emotion, I guess. A, you, a worrying is an emotion that it is just absolutely useless. It won't solve anything at all, and all it is is destructive. So Give everybody a break. Quit worrying about everybody. Quit worrying about the future. Don't be a Pollyanna. You have to make steps to be sure everything is good. But don't worry that maybe it's not going to work out for you. Think twice. <laughs> Do not act on your impulses or your thoughts or feeling without thinking twice. How many relationships have been ruined? How many decisions have been made on the spur of the moment without really thinking them through? Don't act on your thoughts and feelings until you think about them. Do not fly by the seat of your pants. 
think before you act. Because if you do, chances are those actions and those feelings will be true. Whether, whatever it is in your life, think before you act. And the last one is, do not envy anyone else's life. Do not follow someone in their lifestyle and say, oh, I want to do this, I want to be that. You should appreciate your own life. You're going to be much happier that way. You're going to be much content. Do not chase after someone else's life because that life has already been taken and your life is yours. Your life is unique to you and all of your talents, all of the things that you have been given, your children, your friends, your family, your lifestyle, that is unique to you. Don't worry about anyone else. Just take care of you and follow your own dreams and your own life. Thank you so much for coming for this conversation today. I really appreciate seeing each and every one of you. I hope that these are things that are, you realize are really not important in your life and probably the least important things that, that you want to even do in your life. Please be kind to yourself and, and, and be good to whomever crosses your path. Uh, share the love and of course, Let's pray for world peace. And I love each and every one of you. I read all of your comments. You are so important to me. Each and every one of you are so unique and important to me. And I hope I will see you in my next video on Tuesday. Take care. Love your way. <laughs>